June plum salad. After you put everything together, now just mix well. This type of salad, you can have it with any type of fried fish, barbecue fish, or even uh, fried chicken, <laughs> barbecue chicken, or even beef. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make June plum salad. This is how June plum look like. This June plum, by now it look like really bruised, but in the inside, they look really clean. So just peel, I have about 10, only 10 June plum. And these are the ingredients. I have June plum, I have dry shrimp that I soak in the water, warm water, 15 minutes, clean well and drain out all the water. And also this one is smoked dry fish. And I have shallots, I have garlic, and I have some mint. And other ingredients I'll show you along the way. Now I'm gonna peel all the skin off and then after I'm going to thin slice them. After you peel off the skin, you can use this type of shredder to shred it. But I find that this one will make it too, uh, too fine. I like it better with the peeler. So you can use the peeler to just go over like this. So this way you can see the piece bigger like that comparing to if you use the Jillian peeler like this. Like it's just really tiny shredding. This one is the last one and it's a really tiny one and you barely can see any seed and the seed just, just soft. This one you can thin slice it all the way to the middle and it will not have that uh, strand of seed. You just kind of eat it after. So I got this much and I'm going to use a peeler to uh, thin slice the garlic. When you use peeler, you can peel things so much thinner and it's more even and it's easier. Let's just peel it like this. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that one just fly away. So put about three cloves of garlic. So for the garlic, you can put less or more, it's up to you. And after you peel the garlic into thin slice like this, next you can use the same thing with peeler, shallot. For shallot, you can put small one or bigger one, it's up to you. This one is a large shallot. Shallot is almost like a mini red onion. Oh my goodness, my eyes. Now that we got thin sliced garlic, thin sliced shallot, thin slices June plum, set this aside. So if you want to put dry shrimp, you can put dry shrimp, this one about maybe 20, but you can put less or more, it's up to you, but you soak in warm water first, about 15 minutes. The dry shrimp can uh, absorb the moisture, so it's not as tough. And also, it's also a way to clean the dry shrimp. So now you're going to just lightly pound it. When you lightly pound it, it can help the shrimp become a bit softer. So when you eat it, it's not as chewy. So when you pound it, try to pound it like on the body, <laughs> on the body like this. So it can still hold its shape, but just flat and smash. And for this Cambodian dry fish, we call it trai chao. So trai chao is the Cambodian traditional way on how to smoke the fish in the sun. You also can use different type of smoked fish. You can choose not to put the smoked fish all together, just put the dry shrimp, that is fine too. To make the sauce for June plum salad, in a small bowl, combine one tablespoon of water, half tablespoon of palm sugar. This one is the soft type, because palm sugar come in the hard type or the soft one. I have the soft one, I'm going to use it, or you can just use regular sugar, just half tablespoon. Half tablespoon of fish sauce, fresh lime juice, half of whole lime, or close to one tablespoon of lime juice. And after that, just mix well. And here is optional, this one is MSG. You can put one quarter teaspoon of MSG, just a little bit. So I can give this type of sauce a better taste. Without the MSG, I think it's fine too. But for those who use MSG, you can put just a little bit. So I'm going to mix well to dissolve the palm sugar. Okay, when you see the palm sugar is fully dissolved, you can give it a taste. And you can add more lime, more sugar, more fish sauce if you like. But I think it's going to taste uh, perfect. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay, now let's combine everything together. 
I have thin slices of June plum, about 200 to 150 grams, and one large shallot, thin slices of garlic, Cambodian smoked dry fish. So this one is optional. If you cannot find this type of fish, you can just skip it. You don't have to put this one. You can just put dry shrimp. And then here, I have the smashed dry shrimp. This one you can put as much as you like. I put about 20. And after you can add some of the mint and stir well the sauce and pour everything in. If you have roasted peanuts, you can either crush the peanuts or leave it whole. I'm going to leave it whole so it have that crunch. So, <laughs> so it can have that crunch, but it's best if you can put the roasted peanut before serving. If you have chili, then you can put some also. For the chili, you can put as much as you like. This one only one, and mine is a bit dried. <laughs> and that's it. After you put everything together, now just mix well. Once you mix everything well, after that you can eat it right away. And with this type of salad, you can have it with any type of meat, either fish, either chicken, either beef, fried fish, fried chicken, barbecue, meat. <laughs> it goes so well with it. And here I have some beef. I'm going to have it beef, with rice, and with the June plum salad. Mm-hmm.